Today you have to do what others won't. So tomorrow you'll have what others want. Good morning. Bobby Bones here, Road Food City. What's going on? I'm gonna try to make the cockpit as quiet as possible, but this car is kinda loud in here when you're doing 80 miles an hour. We're in Jersey. Gotta go pick up the boss. And, uh, man, man, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, today's day 22, so I wanna, I wanna bring, bring us back, because on, when I posted for day 19, it was technically the night of the 18th, so, I'm a little backed up, I'm not plugging away, because I'm hurting, I wanted to tell you, I had that last video, was, uh, fine and dandy I had a brief moment of clarity and happiness I was tired and I was wired right you can hear it in my voice I even sound drunk when I'm looking at that video right so the past few days 19 20 and 21 Wow hurting the end of 21 I felt a lot better but my ass, my ass, I know it sounds so ridiculous. I keep talking about it, but I can't, I don't know. I listen to John Rose and John Rose says something about pockets, maybe in the colon, diverticulitis pockets, like uh, blowouts. These blowouts is what he calls them. And uh, I might have like, Anytime I like bring in cooked food now, they they might fall into these pockets and cause discomfort. But I'm I'm officially this sounds crazy, but where you seen that 2016 video, we're almost two years into this. And well when I started my vegan journey. My raw vegan journey is only about a year, I'd say. I wonder, when did that actually happen? I think it was like, I don't know, I don't know. I changed my chemistry, I changed my system. I can't deal with, I obviously 100% can't deal with cooked food anymore. And um, I'm dealing with these roids, man. I have an internal vein, ruptured vein, that as soon as I bring in heavy foods, it immediately affects my butt. And I don't want to get it checked out. I don't. I need to heal it because I know, I know when I'm juicing and I'm eating clean, I don't have that problem. It's a, it comes back when I mess with wine, coffee, tomatoes. I don't know what it is, or maybe when I when I start cooking again, I bring in tomatoes. You know, I'm, I'm a big sauce fan, so maybe it's the combo, maybe it's one or the other. I don't know, but it's those three. As soon as I start dabbling in those three, then I start dabbling in cooked food, and then my ass starts hurting. It has been six months of like. You know, feeling good, having those clarity moments and going, maybe I can bring in cooked food down. Boom. Oh, my God, my ass hurts. Or maybe I can bring in cooked food down, you know, after a, a month. Boom. Oh, my God, my ass hurts. I think I'm just done with cooked food. Or I got to go get something cut, cut out. A polyp. I don't know what it is down there. But... I don't know. I'm being personal. I'm being personal. I'm going to take this on the road. Take this polyp on the road with us. Uh, you know, what to do, what to do. So, this is what I'm thinking. Before we, before we go see the, uh, the white coat, right? Because this shit hurts, all right? And I got to... I poop and then I friggin' I'm sitting on a sit bath 
and it hurts. So here's what I'm thinking. I go deep. I go deep because I'm at, I'm close to my goal anyway, right? I'm like in the low 170s right now. So let's just go deep, hard, because we're, we're we're coming to the finish line, and uh, and the sculpting will happen. It's happening naturally because I'm losing fat, right? So let's stick to the sculpting still. Let's get stick to the juice, high high juice. Juice bound away until uh, until we hit our goal. You know, my my goal is the is the uh, the John Rose goal, which is 100 pounds to five feet, five pounds for every inch. So if I'm five foot ten and a half, I'm supposed to be 152.5 pounds. You know, five foot eleven in shoes. All right, so if I'm 155, that's great. I got some skin. I definitely have like freaking, you seen it? Uh, I have to have at least 10 pounds of skin. So if I think my goal right now, my, my plateau weight of raw food, because they say if you just keep clean and you're raw, you continuously lose weight until your body stops naturally. So I'm gonna bring it down to wherever I stop naturally and I'm assuming that's about 160 and then we work and we work and we work and we work and we worked on on getting that maybe work on never eating raw food of uh, cooked food again maybe that's what it is like I really just can't bring it back in it's my system's not my system doesn't want it I feel much better when I'm doing it uh, especially when I'm juicing, I feel like I could pretty much live the rest of my life on juice. I mean, I don't see why not. I really don't see why not because you just feel so amazing when you bring it in those fresh fruits and juices, you know, and then the salad at night. That's it. It's to live to eat. It's no more. It's now eat to live. It's official. It's official. I have to get rid of, completely get rid of those old habits, you know? And um, when I'm out with others, just be like, I don't need that. I feel so good. I don't need that wine, actually. I've been to parties where I never touched a, a, a drip of anything. You know, it's just those old, like, hat, like those old, oh, I need this buzz kind of thing. I don't know, you know, whenever I'm out and about or socializing. I already have a buzz. I don't need that booze buzz. I don't. I really don't. So I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm touching it right now. I'm touching it with you guys. So I got to heal this ass. I got to heal the ass because... It sucks. It straight sucks. And, uh, and this is, you know, and this is, again, a vlog for you and for me. You know? My process, and, and I hope to help other people's process. If they're, if they're into this, you know, into raw food and stuff like that. It's, this is, uh, you know, this is our journey. You know, I, I look at those old vids and I'm like, man, that, you know, that guy wouldn't have drank wine. That guy, that guy right there was all about raw, you know. So I just got to stay strong. I got to stay strong. And uh, 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 19, 20, 21, seriously non-eventful. Um, started bringing back the juice hard. I'm still trying to wean off food. Because I'm still like dabbling in salads and stuff like that. And um, honestly, I can't even eat that right now. I can't even, I, I can't. I got to shut down the system and let this butt heal. Uh, yeah, I got some issues, man. And I don't know if it's like the juice bound. I don't know if it's the rebounding. I don't know if it's the high intensity. Uh, 
I just don't know. I really don't know. I don't know, but I know when I'm juicing and I'm and I'm really super clean that I feel great and my butt feels great. So I just have to give it a good amount of time, like a three month solid period. And then maybe we're bringing food back and we, and then we'll come in real slow and hopefully that'll never happen again. I don't wish it on my worst enemy, man. Freaking ass, fire ass, what the fuck? I think it was, I think it might've been Peppers too, like, when I was when I was uh, when I had those that wine weekend with the party and the, and the death of my um, wife's uncle, I was drinking. I drank wine two nights in a row, and I was I, I bought in my cooked foods and stuff like that. Um, I was also I was dip. I, there was this organic um, salsa from Trader Joe's that has a little, little heat on it too, and I was sucking that down. I was taking sips of it like a like a like a drink delicious, you know, like, ooh, like salty tomato sauces drive me nuts, man, that, it made, it feel, I feel like I'm eating, I, oh, I could drink, I could drink, uh, the Trader Joe's has this organic, um, no, uh, salt added sauce, that is so, I could drink it, I could just drink that thing all day, but I think that affected my ass too, because that shit's cooked. That shit's cooked and it has oil in it and everything else. Now, I wasn't heating it on the stove. I was popping the bottle and drinking it out of the bottle. Um, I mean, it's all good ingredients, but there's a little, there's obviously a little oil in there and it was cooked and it was probably cooked with the oil and I haven't cooked with oil in for, since day one of this, you know? Like, if I was to add oil on anything, it would be after, be cold pressed, I would never cook it. So I don't know if that was messed me up or whatever, but we got to rebound from this. We got to rebound hard. We got to rebound and take it back home. So uh, thanks, peace and love, Raw Food City. Healing the ass. Healing the ass T4. Because, yeah, 19 was horrible. 19, 20, 21. Oh, the fight was on. I'm going. I'm going, I'm breathing, I'm trying not to push. I'm breathing, letting that stuff come out. Then And then it's fire. It's not like blood or anything, it just hurt. There was one, that was the first one was a blood one. And then everything else was just like the healing ones. Oh man, come on, gross, yo. And then I'm like jumping from the toilet. I have a bidet too. Shit is great. Uh, so I put the water on a little low. And then I jump on the sit bath. So I don't even touch myself down there. And then, uh, oh man, I have to sit on the sit just to get relief. You know? So, yeah, that's me about my ass again. Whatever, keeping it real. Fighting it, fighting the fight. Gotta go three months deep, baby, three months deep. Plateau, plateau and transform. That's the goal. And guess what? It's January. It's January. I might have the sexiest summer ever. The sexiest summer ever. Because now the, the sun came out yesterday. And I came out of the house like this. Even with the ass. I came out of the house like, oh boy. Oh man, this skinny body. Oh, let me take my jacket off. Wow. Wow. Not used to it. Fat my whole life. Not used to it. So shit, three months on juice. Let's see, February, March, April. Yikes. Friggin' middle of the spring. And I'm walking around at a buck 60, all tight. Come on, people. Peace and love, Rawfood City. We got dreams and they're having it. Raw Food City. Raw Food City.